Good morning and welcome back to Bali Day 9. I want to say, yesterday we said we thought we were going to go and explore a waterfall this morning or multiple waterfalls and we think that's still the plan today. We've just ordered some breakfast from a place called Daily Begat. They're one of the only ones open this early because we woke up at like just after six um, and thought we'd order it then. So Jake's just gone out to get it. We've got some bagels, both with like scrambled egg, mozzarella and bacon in and then some pastries for tomorrow. So we've ordered two days worth of breakfast, just efficiency. Um, I've just made our greens. We're just gonna drink those and eat breakfast and then try and get going. We think we're gonna try and rent a scooter for a few days just to make it easier to get out, but we'll see how that goes. It's just arrived with the goods. So and nice. unpack them now. Packaging's looking lovely. Do you wanna actually open one up and, and see what it looks like? Mm. It's beautiful little box. It's probably what we should have got well. yesterday instead of the toasties. Instead of those awful toasties. If you haven't watched that video, go back and see okay. our horrendous toasty experience because it's it's not good. That's day eight, I want to say. These are looking much better. These are looking much, much better. Okay, positive. Also, if you'd like to shop the greens, we have a link in our description and you can use code plates and gains for extra money off. But we're just going to tuck into these and probably just sit outside. Breakfast was delicious. So tasty. Absolutely delicious. They, the bagel was absolutely spot on. They had melted cheese, nice crispy bread. It was everything that the toasty from yesterday was seriously missing. We're very happy. We ordered breakfast for tomorrow too. Yeah, and we, we did. tried a little bit and it was super tasty. Yeah, we tried a little bit of the pastry just for something sweet and it was really, really nice. So we've got a guy trying to sort us out some scooters. So we're just waiting to hear back from him. But right now, we're just gonna sit and enjoy the view because it really doesn't get old, does it? Jake's first time driving a scooter in Bali was a success. Sorry, mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it went really well. So we've arrived at our first stop. Uh, which is, I honestly have marked so many waterfalls on the map that I've lost the name. Oh, it's Waterfall Sam, Sam Mum Pan. So apparently this is the parking area, just here. So that's where we're gonna leave the scooter. And we're gonna go find out what this waterfall's actually like. Hopefully it's there when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> most rickety steps. There was a handrail, but the handrail was kind of falling apart and it was so, so steep. I was like, Jake, do not put any weight on this handrail. Crazy, but we got down here. It's so quiet. There's like a handful of other people, but for such a beautiful waterfall, it's really, really quiet. And it's, we're not overly early either. Cause by the time we waited for the um, scooter guy to come, it was like 10 o'clock. Yeah. So it's not that early really. But yeah, some, Beautiful views here, really beautiful. We might try and get some footage because stunning, very impressed. It looks really clear water as well, so maybe some swimming. There are people swimming. That waterfall is so good. It's pretty private. It was the um, the most quiet one that we found so far. There's literally like a couple of other people there the whole time, so it was amazing. It's 20,000 to get in, so per it's person. not even too bad. So it works out like a pound for us per person, which so we're like, oh, that was fine. It goes to like the local people here, so that's absolutely fine with us. There's another one just up the road called Uma Anya, so it's like a five minute drive from here, so we're gonna check that one out next and maybe. See if we can find some lunch. Hopefully. Yeah, nice again, lunch, I'm not that hungry. Overlooking the waterfall or something. <laughs> That'd be ideal. That'd be like, really ideal. I mean, if we can find that, I'd be very happy. <laughs> but time for you to do some more scootering. We've just parked at the next waterfall. Yuma Anya, free parking. Free parking and then 15,000 rupee entry per person. So 5,000 cheaper than the last one. And it seems to be a similar setup here. A really nice, like, path heading down. 
So we just came to Wa uh, Uma Anya Waterfall. Uma Anya Waterfall yeah. with yeah. Wayun. Yeah. <laughs> Showing us around the waterfall. Uh, What's the best parts of the waterfall? In main waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, main waterfall in the best sport waterfall. lovely lunch at this room that the guide from the Ama, Ama Anya? Uma Anya Uma Anya waterfall recommended to us. It was a bit expensive. He didn't just recommend it, he took us there. Oh yeah, he personally took us there. He was really lovely. We did tip him. He was such a lovely guy. But it ended up being like, what's that? pounds a person? Yeah. It was so good though. But the really Uma nice. Anya waterfall, the guy that got allocated to us, he took all of our photos, all of he done everything. Nothing was too much hard work. Like he ran halfway around the waterfall, told us where to go, like everything he, was, he done. It was amazing, like absolutely amazing. And I'd say that out of the three that we've been to so far, that was definitely my favorite waterfall. Yeah, like, there was not, so much going on. Yeah, not only is it beautiful, it has like three levels, so three different opportunities for photos. The guides there, like we just said, are fantastic. There's there's no, nothing is like too much of an ask. Entrance was what 15k a person, mm. so really, really low, and it's so much less touristy than some of the others. Like so much quieter, and like we said, we didn't go particularly early. If you if you went there even earlier, like you'd have it all to yourself. It was yeah, ten out of ten. definitely the way forward for waterfalls for sure, for sure. So we had lovely lunch. Then we've been to mini mini mart. Mini mart. So we had to get some petrol for our. Rental, <laughs> rental scooter, which is going pretty well, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think, think so. Like, your driving's getting better. And then we got these little chocolate brioches, which we're gonna try now. Sit and do some work, and then order some dinner in a bit. Yeah. A couple of hours. Maybe a couple of hours. So we've just finished dinner. I had turmeric rice with egg, peanuts, and veggies. It was really nice. It was my first time trying that dish and I actually really enjoyed it. And you got um, classic nasi goreng. Yeah. Just just a classic. When basic. But it wasn't the best one we've had from them. It wasn't up to their normal standards. No, it wasn't as like flavorful. It's like the chef had a day off. <laughs> and then got the substitute chef in. But it was still tasty enough and it was filling. It was super quick and it was super cheap as well. So it was everything we needed this evening, to be honest. Yeah. Pretty happy. We're gonna end the day here. We hope you enjoyed this waterfall hunting day. We're gonna do something similar tomorrow, we think. Try and find a couple of different ones. Maybe some more well-known ones, but just try and get there really early because today we try like sort of the little ones. A bit different. Um, we, we love them to be honest. Mm. Much prefer them to the touristy ones. So much better. Yeah. But tomorrow we'll try something a bit different. Try and do another waterfall run with the motorbike. Hopefully it'll be good. So hopefully we'll see you there. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and give it a like to let us know. And hopefully we will see you tomorrow. Bye.